Welcome back. The governor of Tokyo, Matsuzoi, is still in hot water. Bunshun has released its fourth article, lambasting him for the use of public funds for private uses. Even the fact of him buying pajamas is now out in the open. Michael, does he have any legs? Do you think he's going to resign? He's probably not going to resign. He needs to be pushed out. First of all, that he bought pajamas is, does not necessarily mean that he violated the law. There is no standard within the law that requires him to explain how it is that pajamas are political activities. Right. You can leave yourself to the imagination how they might become so. But nevertheless, as long as it is listed as being part of political activities, promotional activities related to political action in some way, it's all okay. Just like when he bought art off the internet, as long as he displays that art in his office, he can say, I got this in order to make my city look better. Mm -hmm. The hilarious part is, once he leaves office, he can take the pictures off the wall and they're his, even though they're paid for with public money. Okay, but he couldn't put his pajamas on the wall. I don't think that he should. Okay. But nevertheless, we have a situation where he recognizes finally that his position, while legally not prosecutable, is politically unstable. And he had an extraordinary long press conference where he invoked, I'm going to rely on a third party's analysis. Yes, these lawyers 50, that I've hired. 50 times in the course of the interview. And he then, when he, he did come out finally with an apology yesterday, and from what I hear, over 100 spectators, most ever for the, the assembly, lined up to hear him apologize, and he just delivered a perfunctory few, performance of a few minutes, and then said, I'm out of here, thank right. you. He's, he, he, he does things that are just going to come back and haunt him. Well, we've, we've talked about this before. It seems like he didn't have a really good crisis management team in place. He denied, he obstructed, he said, I'll hire two guys and they'll explain for me. And it's never really been too much about uh, the illegality of what he's done, although there was a lot of hope that maybe we could find something, but it's more about how it appears as the governor of one of the largest cities in the world, but also as one of the most powerful individually elected politicians in Japan, you know, he's under some scrutiny and he's held to a, something of a higher standard. He's extremely lucky that we have, at the same time, we had the Obama visit to right. Hiroshima, we had the, the G7 summit, and now we have the buildup to the House of Counselors election. His story is just one of a whole bunch of big ticket items that the parties and the Kante, the prime minister's residents, have to handle. Mm -hmm. And he, he's really a sideshow. And that benefits him tremendously. If, however, right. this were in a period of political quiet, and his was the main story on the main stage, we would be seeing a lot more maneuvering on the part of the Komeito, on the part of the LDP, to figure out, okay, where do we stand on this? How long do we stick with him? When do we go and pull out the knives? I think it will have, I think you disagree with me, I think it will have an effect of the upper house election. And the reason why I believe that is because I, I think he needs to be removed and he will be removed and the LDP needs to put a sterling individual in his position. Mm -hmm. That sterling individual is also eligible to run for public office in in the Sangin, the upper house election too. And with as many seats that are open, they're running out of sterling people. That's a true. The, the, uh, the House of Counselors election, especially the Hireku, the, the non-district seats, the proportional seats, those are supposed to be reserved for individuals that the LDP thinks have a national following, that have sterling records, and that have support groups that make it possible for them to corral enough votes nationwide and bring in people so that they either vote for the LDP as a party or for that individual and that seat gets secured. Mm -hmm. And yeah, the, the, the pool has been drained. And it looks like, in fact, the administration might lose at least one, but maybe two sitting members of the cabinet. Well, the, we'll see how that all works out. But nevertheless, if they, sit, if they lose members of the cabinet in this election, those persons can then run in the for the governorship 
if there's a push against Masazoi. One of the interesting facts is you don't have to be a resident of Tokyo to be elected Tokyo governor. Anybody from around the country. So it's a great retirement home mm -hmm. for a member of the cabinet who may be from, goodness gracious, Yamaguchi Prefecture, might be from Hokkaido, it doesn't matter. If the LDP and the, the Komeito get together and decide Masazoe has to go and this person who has been a good person for us should step in, it's a done deal. Keep watching this issue. I predict that we will be looking at an election for Tokyo governor very shortly, probably before the upper house election.